Hi everyone, LP here, and this is your Preparedness Week in Review. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, what I plan on doing is actually trying to do this at least once a week, where we review the things that actually happen to preppers in the real world and how they respond as a community. And before you go swiping away, this is actually pretty simple. We own a Discord, uh, and uh, it's actually free to anybody who wants to join up. There'll be a link in the description. You guys can join and uh, be part of the fun. It's actually pretty simple. We'll talk about some sponsor stuff later, but right now, let's just go ahead and get into it. I want to try and keep this as short and sweet as possible. That way you guys kind of know what's going on in the preparedness world as well as within a preparedness community. Now, our community is actually pretty good sized. Uh, this is our Discord right here. And no, I'm not promoting the Discord. I'm just telling you the things that have been happening. So we actually have a handful of people that are, that are in Texas that got hit by that hurricane. And obviously, we, we joke a little bit about it here. We like to have fun of it. A little bit of dark humor is not a bad thing. Simply understanding that things are going to be bad is always going to make things a little bit better. You know, misery does love company. So, you know, uh, as you could tell, a little, just a little rain, you know. Um, we also had Joseph join the Discord, which was actually super awesome. I look, to, look forward to seeing more of him in there. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, we had uh, Kentucky Goatman. Him and, his, him and his family, I think it's his father, went in on a Jeep together. This is going to be his bug out vehicle. I hope he does enjoy it. It actually looks like a pretty cool little Jeep there. I kind of like it myself. Uh, he says, uh, we got some, we got some hearts on that. It says parents bought part of it and I bought part of it. It's most money I've ever spent. I haven't ever driven it yet. I'm hoping I'll decide I'll get a chance to soon hope to get a video of it for my channel. If you guys don't know who the Kentucky Goatman is, just look for him on YouTube. Uh, and uh, he uh, that that vehicle and and he's a young man. I think he just turned 17. So we have all ages inside the group. Hopefully he'll get a chance to drive the vehicle soon. It doesn't really sound like it's his, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Um, where we got what what what? There's there's a lot of commentary it actually popped in through here. We might actually hit the news channel. Uh, if you guys didn't know that, every morning our uh, our members or even our free members check in. This is the general chat. If you can see right above my head up there where it says general, that's the general chat where everybody just comes in and talks about whatever. Uh, so um, we're talking to this is Catitude, and I don't know why it shrinks their names. Uh, but uh, she's uh, uh, both Catitude and uh, uh, Frost are uh, or Frosty are in the hurricane area, and uh, all uh, all our hurricane people checked in. There we go. Uh, St Frost, I think Frost got hit the worst. Here. There's going to be some pictures he's provided for us uh, and showing how preparedness is making his life one million times easier. Uh, it says it's still without power, and this was last. So that would be the, what do we got here? Um, that would be last Tuesday. Uh, still without power, uh, Bayou is raising. He's at Bayou behind his house uh, at a slow rate. So hopefully it will go down a little later today. If not, I might wind up, end up with some water in the house. And unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. Uh, Catitude says, cell service is still horrible now, but my husband brought our generator here because power is restored at my house. My uh, and then she's actually a senior caretaker, uh, so she goes on to talk about how she talked about her her uh, her the person she's taking care of wanted to go out in that stuff, and she made made it so that she would not want to do that anymore. Um, let's see. Um, as usual, we got a little bit of funny stuff here. No BB on board. Please feel free to run into me. As you can tell, it's it's a vibrant community. Uh, uh, True Speak Dad dropped in some news. Multiple 911 outages have been reported throughout the Nebraska and South Dakota. This seemed to happen a lot last week. If you guys didn't know that, there were a lot in multiple states where like the entire state went down. Their 911 system went down. Now, why is that happening? There's no way to know, but we all have it deep in our gut that this is more than likely some form of cyber attack 
or probing attack to figure out whether or not, we always got a glass half full, guys, whether or not uh, it was uh, something that was nefarious or if somebody just unplugged the router. There's no telling. Let's see. Uh, uh, we got lots of people checking in. Um, where are we at here? Uh, it's it's really difficult to read some of this stuff, guys. Um, I felt like I haven't told anybody. Oh, I forgot. I, we started a newsletter. Uh, if you guys want to, there's a link. Uh, it, there'll be a link in the description if you guys want to get on the newsletter where we talk about weekly what's going on in the preparedness world as well as uh, some of the things that we, we're actually doing in the preparedness world. Uh, also videos and follow-ups for uh, different products that are coming out that are new or just really, really cool. Um, and lots of people told me that they, they forgot to sign up for it or they just didn't do it the last time. And that's okay. That's okay. It, the, the newsletter is growing pretty quickly. Uh, let's see here. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, as I said, this is one take and that is the way it's going to be. Uh, and then we all, uh, watch the news conference, the, the big boy news conference together. Um, we all had our own personal opinions. We tend to, if something is going on, um, we tend to have like watch parties. They're, they're very informal. Uh, we don't like, Hey, come to this. We literally just watch it and then comment on the app. Uh, and we'll actually set up a special channel for that. So it doesn't bog down the main channels. Uh, and as you can tell, there are many different channels here on this discord news, economy, banking, going live videos and podcasts, training, canning, couponing, you name it. Oh my, we even have a channel for Canadians, which have gone dark on us since their uh, socialist government has taken over. Oh, let's see here. People talking about NATO. Let's see. There's there. Oh, there we go. Um, giving, <laughs> giving me highlights. Movie is starting. <laughs> it's literally. And, and as you can see, it's, it's, it's some pretty interesting stuff here. Uh, then uh, we've got down. It looks like Frost has uh, sent us some pictures uh, talking about what things look like where he lives. Thanks to the old hurricane. So it looks like he did get some water in his house. Um, it uh, it it kind of got him. I, I even quoted or, or, or noted that uh, it's good that he had a boat. It's good that he had a boat. Um, the water uh, got a little high, got a little high. Uh, and there's some other things there. And, you know, we talk about preparedness, you know. Uh, he's like, yeah, the other one is downstairs. Uh, the They were talking about freezers and having multiple freezers and how this one was upstairs, thank God. Uh, and uh, how he can still get his coffee going because uh, he's a prepper. He's a prepper. Um, where are we at here? We also did a poll. Now, the poll, we're going to slow down just a little bit because I put this poll out a couple of days ago. It's actually still in the Discord right now, so people can still vote on it. It says it still has 44 hours left on the poll. But, uh, you know, uh, Don Truck, uh, you know, like I said, compliments of Don Truck. I always give credit where credit is due. And, uh, you know, um, I, I, he, he kind of brought the subject up and was given like percentages of what he thought. So I figured let's actually have a poll here. And um, he says, which end, of, uh, which end of civilization as we know it scenario seems more likely these days? Right now it's 24% World War III, 33% Civil War, whatever that means these days. 10% Solar Flare EMP CME and 33% financial collapse. So as you guys notice, the fi inflation is still through the roof. It doesn't matter what the, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the blue tie people say. It doesn't matter what the Fed says. It all comes down to where, what your receipt says at Walmart. That's what it all comes down to, guys. Um, so uh, this, is, this is the people going, eh, this isn't making a lot of sense. So that uh, is still available. Uh, there, will, there were a lot of comments on it. Uh, this is actually out of, uh, I've never played this video, so I guess we're going to find out right now. Looks like uh, he's got himself a peck rod, alternate power source. He's running himself a 12-volt pump, and he's now moving fresh water into buckets for whatever reason, for whatever reason he needs it to do. Uh, you know, obviously, he's he has thought this through. Uh, and uh, don't let the stuff being, like, all scattered throw, you know, throw you off. The... Uh, the water was everywhere, so it, you stack everything you can on top of everything high to get it out of the water, which, you, which why there's a motorcycle tire, why there's a bucket, why there's a gas can, you know, why there's the, the, these stupid little things on top of it. It's because he had to get it out of the water or, or save it from the water. But uh, Pecron's a good little unit. Uh, it's it's uh, no better, no worse than, than uh, a Jackery. Uh, and uh, yeah, I recommend people all have 
uh, alternate power sources. Let's see here. Um, oh, somebody put a ladder in here for my favorite tactical ladder. Let's see what that looks like. Um, I'm going to say something I never thought I'd ever say on social media. And that oh, is, my God. This is my favorite ladder. Seriously, it's a ladder. Check this out. Wow. I got this thing in an Army Navy store down in Trenton, Tennessee. I'm curious. Wow. Quick step. If you're interested in getting one, keep in mind, they only sell them to uh, the special forces or anyone with a credit card. <laughs> That's pretty freaking awesome. That, that That's pretty freaking awesome. I'm glad I watched that video with you guys. I think I'll probably be getting me one of those things it's called the Quick Step. Uh, let's see here. Um, somebody put in something about reparations. Don't care. Uh, energy costs. This was of keynote right here. A little map here that talks about uh, total energy costs by state. Electricity, natural gas, and motor fuel were averaged. Uh, and it looks kind of crazy. It looks kind of crazy. Um where are we at here? Somebody had put some other things in here too. Um, lots of truth in this chip. I, I, I don't want to look at that Instagram. We've got some more pictures from Frosty, uh, basically showing how he's going. He's having, he's being forced to do things exactly how he planned on doing them to get things to work for him in a preparedness situation. So there he is. He's getting ready to do some do some dishes uh, on his raised home. Uh, at, well, what do we got? He's got the grill. He's got the uh, he's got a black stone or on top of his stove with some with some propane. Yeah, he's got his bottled water. He's doing his dishes. He is he's not surviving, guys. He's thriving. So I got my hands off to Frosty uh, and uh, or Frost, and you guys should definitely be uh, making things in your world that much more prepared. Uh, you know, I mean, and, and I hate because I don't ha really have like any bullets. This was just an idea I had for this video. I figured I'd throw it out there, see if it's stuck. If you guys like this kind of thing, do me a favor. Make sure you let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. Uh, and uh, I'll make more like this. I'll do it every week. You know, um, hitting the general news because we do have a general news channel. We have economy, but uh, let's go to news. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, yesterday, actually, this is from this morning. Uh, the uh, numerous emergency personnel are on the scene following a tank explosion in a wood chip conveyor uh, facility with evacuations. It's in Savannah, Georgia. Um, and this actually just happened this morning. One of the things that we try to do is keep everybody posted on relevant news. It's not just, hey, I think this is cool. It's a relevant news uh, drop. Also, if you guys didn't hear about it, AT&T uh, data breach exposes call logs for nearly 110 million AT&T users. So um, detailed letters, relevant information, uh, where we got here. Uh, and then we found this really, really neat site uh, called uh, Poly Market. I'm not going to click it on here because I'm not going to promote it, but it is political. It is... Um, uh, it is uh, poll related and it's active 24 hours a day and it's got some pretty amazing data on it. So if you're interested, poll market, uh, or I'm sorry, poly market, just go ahead and find poly market, Google it, and you'll be good to go. Uh, this, was, this one was uh, interesting. Breaking Trump appointed federal judge found a federal law making it a felony to distill spirits, uh, making a, it a felony to distill spirits at home unconventional so I don't know how leading report is actually pretty good so I would look into that if you're curious um, and uh, I think that's as far as we're gonna go with that because I, I want to keep this completely apolitical but uh, leading report also put uh, breaking as part of a major restructuring CNN quietly disbanded its race and equity reporting team which included firing 100 staffers so as you can see, guys, this is the kind of news that I want to throw out there. I want to, I want things to be prepper relevant, uh, and that way you just stay away from the whole politics thing because it's just not good for us anymore. Be be uh, in the know. Have situational awareness. Be prepared. Those are the things that you need. You don't need to be getting in all the nitty gritty of you know. It's like you're not gonna can't, you're not gonna fix anything in Congress. You're not going to fix anything in the White House, but you can fix all the problems in your life with preparedness. Okay, um, I think that's going to be about it. As stated, if you like what I'm doing, hit that thumbs up button out the door. Appreciate it. It does help. Post some stuff in the comments. I normally reply within one hour. If you'd like to support the channel, there are links below. As usual, stay safe, have a great day, or have a great week, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.